divided by the total. And then I want to copy that down. So I'm going to say F4 so I can copy it down and then enter. And then I will percentify that home tab numbers group percentified add a couple decimals possibly double clicking on the little fill handle copying it down so there's uh the percentages of the total so when we did our when we sat there with our stopwatch we counted for every one minute you know for a thousand one minute time intervals 62 times zero people showed up which is 6.2 percent 171 times one person showed up which is 17.1 percent 243 times out of the thousand minutes we sat there with our stopwatch uh 20 243 showed up and then three people showed up uh, 232 times which is 23.2 of the total and so on and so forth so now that we have our data then we can say okay well what if i was to plot this data you know what what would it look like if we were to plot it and notice i i could plot either one of these so i could say let's take the actual numbers and i'll bring it down to here and so I'm going to say, let's say insert and then go to the charts. And then I'm going to make this a bar chart and we'll say bar chart. And there it is. So I've plotted uh, the frequency and let's go into my data. I'm going to go into my data up top. I'm in the chart design data and then the frequency looks good. I'm going to adjust this one, however, to pick up the range that I want, which is from zero here down to the 29 uh, control up, I'm sorry, control shift down, shift up to pick up just down to 29. Okay, and then okay. So so there we have it. And I can look at that and say, hmm, I could see, you could see it's kind of skewed uh, to the right here and it's got that distribution that looks like it might be, you know, a Poisson distribution. I can also do it this way with the percentages if I select all the percentages and I insert a bar chart, right? I can go, hmm, let's do this with the percentages and I'll do the same thing, data tab. This looks good. I wanna make the data over here on G3, control shift down, shift up, enter and okay, right? So you've got, now you've got it in terms of percents versus the the whole numbers and so that's one indication that if we start looking at our data and say hmm that you know it looks kind of like it might fit a poisson distribution why might that be useful because the poisson distribution will allow me to have uh, an even line uh that will allow me to make predictions more you know more easily because now i can start now i can make predictions based on you know a function as opposed to you know just randomly generated numbers right if this if i did this and it came up to some jagged landscape looking thing then i wouldn't be able to plot any kind of uh, curve on top of it with a nice fairly relatively simple equation i know the poisson equation doesn't look you know really simple but it equates to a, a nice smooth line as opposed to you know a jagged landscape looking thing which would be much more difficult or a complicated uh type of thing you need calculates to, to do it right okay now i'm also i'm going to move this to the right now i'm going to move these to the right so that's going to be an indication for us that we might be able to use poisson another if i i'm going to make column j a little smaller and i could say okay what's the mean of the data so now i can calculate the mean now if i was to do a poisson curve then i'd have to know what the mean was remember that we took the mean in order to generate the data but in real life I, I wouldn't know the mean possibly and I would have I could guess it right I have an idea maybe but then I now I can calculate the mean based on this data right so now that we sat there with our stopwatch so I can say the mean is going to be equal to the average brackets of the data control shift down and enter so now we just took the average and if I add some decimals home tab uh, uh, number group adding some decimals 